Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Roadtop um, CarPlay screen, um, which I ordered on eBay about four weeks ago. Uh, I did know it was going to take that long because it was coming from China. Uh, cost £219, um, but hopefully it's going to be a great addition to my Range Rover and will give me Apple CarPlay. It does Android as well, but I use uh, I use Apple uh, iPhone. Um, so basically you can have your, your sat-nav, your music and everything going through this. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing. It comes in a very nice box. Um, same made in China. And got a few shots on like quite nice packaging considering the sights come from China. Let's just get it out of the box. Okay, so firstly in the box we've got a user manual. This is an 8.8 .8 inch by the way, widescreen, which is why I went for it. There are quite quite a few on the market which aren't wide, um, but I just fancy the widescreen, I think it looked nicer in the car. Quite a good user manual there, and it looks like it's in English. Which is a help. We've got a phone padding there. Underneath that, we've got something that looks like the actual screen, which is a nice protective bag. So let's take that off. Yeah. So there you go, there's your 8.8 inch screen, which on the back of the screen uh, you've got a USB, let's get it right well, USB in and a TF card in. So you can put a, a memory card in there if you want to, play music. And then on the back you've got your DC 12 volts in, um, an audio output, and an AV in. Uh, the audio output is a 3.5mm jack, which you can go straight to your AV on your car, which hopefully is what I'm going to do on the way through. Underneath there, you've got a 3.5 to 3.5 jack. For the audio, a cigarette lighter adapter which with two USB ports which can be used to give you another cigarette adapter if you if you need it. Uh, the actual cigarette adapter power adapter in the bag there. And we've got the mounting right here which is can be stuck on the windscreen or I think if that sticky pad can be stuck on the dash and you can stick it onto that. It also comes with a reversing pad, which I probably won't use because obviously you've already got one on the Range Rover, but that's quite a nice addition. And then the last but not least, which is the box, is a sticky pad, which is just to stop it sliding around on the dashboard if you mount it on the dash, which is quite a nice addition too. So I'm going to try and get this set up get it into the Range Rover and uh, I'll see you in the car. Okay so in the car now and I've got the car top 8.8 .8 inch uh, screen installed. Um, I'll just start the car up. So when it powers up you can actually choose the logo. I've actually set mine to Land Rover for the Range Rover, Land Rover Range Rover. So you get the Land Rover in the top screen, Range Rover in the bottom screen as per normal. And then it will immediately open into this screen here, which is the CarPlay screen. Just to kind of focus on there. And then once it's, uh, it'll now connect to CarPlay, which it has. So it's now connected to my phone. So it's actually connected to uh, Google Maps straight away. Now you can go back to the main menu by selecting these dots at the bottom there. So you've got your main. CarPlay menu there. I've actually chosen which programs I want on the front screen. You can actually change the order of them. You can't do it on the on the actual screen, but you can do it on your iPhone, or I'm assuming you can do it on Android as well if you're using Android. Um, I've only got a few few apps set up. You know, sort of WhatsApp, Spotify, Google Maps, Zoom. Um, I've got a couple of radio ones on there. That MyTune radio is pretty good because it gives you a lot of stations, um, £8.99 for the app, but it gives you a whole load of DAB stations, which is quite nice, because once you've actually, once I've set the way I've set this up, it's going through the AUX on the 
Range Rover, so rather than having to switch between the AUX and the radio, I'll just turn that off for a minute, don't want to get any copyrighted music on the video. Um, but yeah, so you can you can go through different stations on there. Um, I've got my Ringo app on there for parking, which is quite good because that will find you parking locations as well, which is quite handy to have when you're out and about. Um, as I say, obviously your maps. Um, I've also got on there the BBC Sounds app, so again, uh, you can choose from your stations. Uh, let's get a one without music. Uh, let's try Radio 5 Live because hopefully they'll be talking on there, not music. So, and obviously that's all coming through the society of which they were uh, part and for which they the speakers died. on the car through the AUX input. Now what I've done is I've routed there's two cables, there's a power cable and the AUX cable which I've run we no longer live down through the speaker behind the dash and then I removed this panel and loosened the glove box to run the cable through along here. I've literally just run the, for now, the power is just coming up to the cigarette lighter. It's not done properly yet. I want to actually wire it in completely. And obviously the AUX is just going in down there and I've put an extension on it because Again, it's only a temporary measure um, until I can sort out a more permanent solution. But yeah, uh, so that's so go back to the main menu. Uh, but yeah, it's great. I love it. You've got your Google Maps. It does your navigation. It does everything you want it to. You've got your calendar. Your messages come up. You can use your phone. So yeah, really pleased with it. Really good setup. Um, works very well. So far, not really have any problems other than when you lose signal, it can be a bit irritating for listening to the radio because obviously, if you lose signal um, on your 3G or 4G or 5G, um, then the radio will go off as well, which can be a little bit annoying. But in the main, most mostly the reception is pretty good, to be fair. So not really had too much of an issue with that. Um, yeah, really overall quite happy with um, the way things are so there you go short and sweet video today just really wanted to show you the uh, car top 8.8 .8 inch Apple play display which integrates with any car um, which has got an aux socket um, and obviously you can then play Bluetooth through your aux which is fantastic all you need is an aux cable and a 12 volt supply uh, which can come from a cigarette lighter as you've seen on mine or you can wire it hard wire it in which I intend to do eventually um, and if you do have Bluetooth connectivity in your car then it will connect via Bluetooth so you won't need the cable there at all only just the power cable so great system great value for money would highly recommend it and uh, look forward to making some more videos soon uh, gonna do some more updates on the Range Rover um, thanks for watching please do subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. You don't have to watch the videos, but it does help me because I'm, I'm aiming obviously to get a thousand subscribers, uh, which will help me to make more of these videos, which would be good. So it doesn't cost you anything. Just click subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And um, you can also, if you do want notifications of when I post stuff, I mean, you know, you don't have to, but you can click the bell icon on, underneath and then it will just send you a, 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 a message on your phone quick, you know, a quick thing will flash up so I've uploaded a new video. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. It costs nothing to subscribe and it really, really, really would help me. So please, 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 I'm begging, <laughs> uh, do subscribe if, you, you know, if you've watched the video and enjoyed it. Take care and hopefully see you next time.